My name is Sarah Petrie and I am a sophomore music education major at Marshall University. So today we're going to be talking about a few of my favorite uh, practice tips uh, when you're at home or when you're at the school or at a practice room like I am today. Um, so my first tip is keep your area clean. No matter what you have, I have my music, I have my mask, my trumpet, my cases will be in here, I have water. Um, just keep it clean, keep it all organized. Um, try to push distractions away from you. So my second tip would be put everything away. When you come into the door, don't think about anything. You have math homework due tonight, we're not worrying about that right now, we're practicing. Keep in mind that your brain needs to be ready and prepared so you can have a full practice with no distractions. So my third tip's an easy one. Um, it would be have water with you, especially me, I'm a brass player. Um, I prefer to have water if I'm practicing for a long time. Uh, water helps keep me hydrated, uh, keeps me going. I often get really hot when I practice. So our next tip is for your music and your stand and just what to have prepared while you're in the practice room. Um, I definitely have a pencil always on my stand. I always mark my part. If I miss a note, I'll circle it. If I miss a crescendo, I'll circle it. Um, I'll write in things if I forget an accidental or something like that. Um, another great tip is practice slowly first. Just because you've had this for a piece for a while um, may not necessarily mean you know the part the best. So I always like to slow things down before I take it at tempo. So another great practice hack is to have a metronome with you. I personally struggle with uh, timing sometimes, especially when I'm playing a solo piece. Uh, by myself in the practice room. I often use my phone. I use the app Pulse. Uh, you can find it on the App Store for both Android and Apple. I know that for a fact. Um, I also like to keep my music organized, very organized. Uh, I have a giant binder here full of sheet protectors and all of my music from uh, past years or past uh, solos that I've had and I just think it's really good to have this here so going back to the first hack you're really focused in on what you're doing at any given time. One of my favorite things to do in a practice room is to get on my cell phone or laptop or ask my band director for a really good recording of whatever piece I'm playing. Oftentimes that gives me a great example of what months or weeks of practice can do um, and what our final product would look like. So my last tip for you in the practice room kind of goes back to what I said at the first time, having no distractions when you come in the practice room. So think about it this way, if you have no distractions coming in the practice room. What do you do if you have a bad day or even a good day when you're leaving the practice room? I like to say, put it in the box. Put your instrument down, put it away, don't think about it. Like I said at the beginning, if I have math homework, I'm not gonna think about my math homework while I'm practicing. But once I'm done practicing, I'm gonna think about my math work. So I hope these tips have really helped you today and thank you so much for watching my video.